So we are gonna now to solve the questions that we talked about them or that I gave you as a homework yesterday. Let's start now with the first one. The integration from zero to one of x cubic times the square root of x squared plus three. Now assume that u is x squared plus three. So we assume that this is u, which is u x squared plus three. Then I have to find du, which is 2x dx. Now, okay, we remove du, but here we have x cubic. What can I do with x cubic now? Now, all of us know that x cubic is x cubed is equal to x squared times x. So instead of x, I can substitute it or change it to du over 2. du over 2 is x. Now I want to change x squared. How? I cannot keep it as x. I want to keep it as y. What did you do? It will be like zero equal to x dx. No, what did you do? How did you do with x squared? Do you over three squared? U minus three. Thank you. So here from this one, I can say that u minus three is x squared. So now let's replace it now as u minus 3 square root of u. Teacher, sir, can you repeat this step? Why we make our guess? Okay. Now here we have an x, cube, uh, x squared plus 3. So x squared plus 3 is u. It's okay now. I replace it now as u. Now. I have no x cubic. I cannot keep it as it is. But I know that x cubic is x squared times x. And since u is, or sorry, du is 2x dx, so I will say that if I divide here by 2 by 2, so x now is du over 2. So one from these x's, I will write it as du over 2. So what can I do now with x squared? I know it now. Then here, I want now to change x squared. What can I do with it? I will See, now you have to know that either du can help you or u. Now, du cannot help you to solve x squared. So, u will help me. How? When you come here, you say that u is x squared plus 3. So, minus 3, minus 3, you will find that u minus 3 is x squared. So, now I will substitute x squared with u minus 3. Is it clear now? Yeah, yes, did you think? So then here, let's now write the integration. And instead of x cubic, I have to write u minus 3 times du over 2, and this one as square root of u. Then u minus 3 times u to the power half times half. So let's scale half as outside. And let's use now the distributive property. u to the power half times u to the power 1, which is u to the power 3 over 2, minus 3 u to the power half. Using the distributive property, I multiply u to the power half by u. 
and by 3. Then after that, I will integrate half u to the power 5 over 2 minus 3 over 5. over 2 minus 3 u to the power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c now let's continue here Then, so half u to the power 3 over 2 times, uh, sorry, to the power 5 over 2. So times 2 over 5 u to the power 5 over 2 minus 3 times 2 over 3 u to the power 3 over 2 plus so it is half square root of u to the power 5 minus 3 square root of u cubic plus c after I finish now I want now to evaluate with x squared plus 1 so half x squared plus 3 to the power 5 minus three square root of x squared plus 3 cubic plus c. This is now an integration of this one. And after that, I want now to evaluate with the interval from 0 to 1. So, which is half times 1 squared plus 3 to the power 5 minus 3 square root of 4 cubic. minus 1 over 5 square root of 0 plus 3 to the power 5 minus 3 zero, uh, 3 cubic 0 squared plus 3 is 3 cubic then after that you will find the number of the answer by the calculator <laughs> Did you answer it correctly yesterday? I didn't know how to answer this question. Okay, you can check your answers later. Now, let's solve another one. 3x squared times 1 plus x cubic to the power 3 dx. And you have to assume that u is 1 plus x cubic. So now, instead of 1 plus x cubic, you have to write u cubic. And then we have here 3x squared dx. I cannot keep it as it is. Let's use u. If we differentiate u here, we will find that du is 2x squared. So, let's divide by... It is 3x squared, teacher. Yeah. Not, uh -huh. not 2. Yeah. 
So it's a 3x squared dx. So now I will evaluate 3x squared dx with du. So u cubic du, I have to integrate it now, which is u to the power 4 over 4 plus c. It's so easy now. Then let's now substitute it. We have to say it is 1 plus x cubic to the power 4 over 4. Now, then you have to find the definite integral from 0 to 2, which is 1 plus 8 to the power 4 over 4 minus 1 plus 0 to the power 4 over 4. 9 to the power 4 minus 1 over 4. Miss Y8, it's 2. May 2 to the power 3 is 8. This now will be the final answer. Let's solve now the third one here. In this one here, we have to find x over square root of 5 minus x squared, whereas u is 5 minus x squared. So x over square root of u dx. Then, so we assume that u is 5 minus x squared, so du it will be negative. Negative 2x. Then here, as you see, I need x dx. So let's divide by negative 2. By negative 2. So negative half du is x dx. So now, instead of x dx, that's right negative half, du. Then you have a square root of u. So now, we can write it as negative half u, the power negative half du. Then you will integrate negative half u, the power negative half plus 1, which is half, over half, plus c. This one, they are negative 1, so we will say it's integration. is negative square root of u plus c. Now, since I want to find a definite integral, so let's say that it is square root of 5 minus 5 minus x squared from 0 to 2. So it's negative square root of 5 minus 4 minus square root of 5 minus 0. So negative 5 minus 4 is 1. So negative 1 plus square root of 5. So the answer here is square root of 5 minus 1. Is it clear? Yes. yes okay, so this is now for method 1. In method 1, as we said here, we have to uh, assume that where is u? We have to differentiate. We have to find u. After we find u, we exchange it or we change it to x. Then we find the integration or the definite integration. In method two here, it is the same as method one. You have to make the, the substitution directly, but you have to make some changes. What are these changes? Let's see this example here. Integration of 2x minus 1 from 1 to 5. Now, what did we do? The first step, we assume that this is u. u is 2x minus 1. Then, you have to find du, which is 2. Then, we will write. Now, here we have 
du is 2 dx. But I want dx, so I will divide by 2. So I have, I have half du, which is dx. So now, instead of writing dx, I want you to write half du and down square root of u. Now, here is method two. By now, I did the u substitution. In method two, what you have to do? You have to change the interval. That means you will not write or you will not solve. Then you will substitute with one to five. No. Here you have to change the interval for the new integration. Because since I use the u substitution, so I have a new values for u. What are these new values? I have one. I will use u. I say that u is 2x minus 1. So when x is equal 1, you have to say 2 times 1 minus 1. So u is 1. So now you will change the interval. You will make a new interval, which is relating to u. And you will write here 1, because u is 1. And then look at the second value. We have 5. So you have to say now, when x is 5, u, it will be 2 times 5 minus 1, which is 9. So now, my new interval for u is from 1 to 9. Then after that, You hear now, it is like an, any integration. Half outside, integration from 1 to 9, 4. U to the power negative half, du. Which is half integration of u to the power half over half, we can say which is 2. And then now, I will not write it back as x. No. Here, you have to evaluate with the new interval, 1 to 9. So, it is half times it's cancelled. So, you will have it as square root of u from 1 to 9. Then, you will say it's the square root of 3. minus square root of 9, sorry, minus square root of 1, which is a 3. So this is more, so this is shortest than the first one, because as you see here, just I change the values of y. When I integrate, I just evaluate with the a new interval with me. When I evaluate with it a new, I get the final answer. Without changing it back to x, then find the answer, yes? Not two. Square root of ah, nine is equal to three. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Teacher, which is the better way? This method or the first one? This will be easier for you. It is a bit best. But sometimes if you want, like only to find uh, the, in the indefinite integral without evaluating, okay, the first one, it will be easier for you. So you can choose any one you want. Let's solve now this one here. X cubic plus 9. Now, later on yesterday, I told you where's your U assumption. Today now we will, you have to guess where is your assumption. Is it x squared or x cubic plus nine? X cubic plus, plus nine. So it is u so du now is three x three x squared dx. Let's continue here now. Now, instead of writing x cubic plus 9, 
we have to write square root of u. And then here you have x squared dx. So if I divide du by 3, I will get x squared dx. So I have it now as third u to the power negative half du. Then I need to change the interval. I cannot keep it from negative 1 to 1 because this negative 1 to 1 is for x. I need now to find the new interval which is for y. Where x is negative 1, so you have to say negative 1 cubic plus 9, which is negative 1 plus 9, is 8. And when x is 1, we have to say it is 1 cubic plus 9, which is 10. Which is 10. So this is now the new interval for you. Then now let's integrate here. We have u to the power half over half or times 2 you can say so I can have it now as 2 over 3 square root of u from 8 to 10 then I will evaluate here so it is 2 over 3 square root of 10 minus 2 over 3 square root of 8 And 8, which is uh, 2 square root of 2. So I can have it as 2 over 3 square root of 10 minus 4 square root of 2 over 3. Is it clear? Yes, yes. Right. Let's solve now another example here. x plus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 7. For this one here, let's assume that this is u. x squared plus 4x plus 7. So du, it will be 2x plus 4. X plus four. Now let's come back here. Down, I write as square root of u. But up here, I have x plus 2. So what can I do? How can I replace x plus 2 with u? Divide by 2. So, yeah, no, okay. not divide by 2. You have to say here, take 2 as a common factor. So it's like x plus 2. Then I need only x plus 2, so I will divide here by 2, divide by 2. So du over 2 is x plus 2. So I will replace now x plus 2 with du over 2. Then I need now to find the new interval. Here you have 1 to 3. So when x is 1 and when x is a 3. When x is 1, so what the new value of u? You have to say 1 squared plus 4 plus 7, so which is a 12. And for 3, we have 3 squared plus 12 plus 7. 9 plus 19 is 28. So now we have a new interval from 12 to 28. Let's now integrate here. So it is integration of half 
u to the power negative half du from 12 to 28. Then half u to the power half over half mm -hmm. or you can say multiply by 2 from 12 to 28. So which is half square root of u from 12 to 28. So half square root of 28 minus square root of 12. Which is half uh, 4 times 7. So 2 square root of 7 minus uh, 2 square root of 3. So let's take 2 as a common factor with half. So you have as square root of 7 minus square root of 3. So the final answer will be square root of 7 minus square root of 3. Teacher, it is 2 square root of 6. Which one? It is the two uh, square root of seven minus two square root of six. Why six? Twelve is four times three. Under square root, it is two square root of three. Oh, okay. So here I took two as a common factor. Then I have square root of seven minus square root of three. Then the final answer will be square root of seven minus square root of three. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Can you repeat the part where you integrate? From here? Yes, please. Okay. So here we have half u to the power negative half plus 1, which is half over half from 12 to 28. Then it is half, and this half now, it comes like 2 over 1. I will talk, it's reciprocal, times u to the power half. Oh. That's mean. It has to be cancelled here. So it will be square root of you. Yeah, exactly. So I have it as square root of you from 12 to 28. Thank you, Danny. So now I get it as square root of 28 minus square root of 12. Then square root of 28, as we say, it is 2 square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 3. This is the final answer. Is it clear? Yes, it's Okay. Now let's solve this example here. Square root of 5x minus 1. We assume that 5x. Minus 1 is u. So let's u as 5x minus 1. So du is 5. five. Dx. So dy du over 5 will be dx. So then here, it comes like square root of u, and instead of writing dx, you have to write du over 5. So it is 1 over 5, integration of u, du. Then I have to change the interval for u. Here I have the x, for x they are 1 and 2. So I will say when x is 1, 
So u, it will be 5 times 1, 5 minus 1, 4. And when x is 2, so u, it will be 5 times 2, 8 minus 1, 9. So it is from 4 to 9. It, should, it is u to the power half. Then let's now integrate u, which is u to the power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. Or it can be written as half times 2 over 3 times the square root of u cubic. So it is 2 over 15 square root of u cubic from 4 to 9, my new interval here. Then so it's a 12 over, uh, sorry, it's 2 over 15. Then here you have square root of 9 cubic minus square root of 4 cubic. Now, square root of 9 cubic is 27. Minus square root of 4 cubic is 8. So, 27 minus 8, 19 times 2 over 15. You will find that the final answer is 38 over 15, which can be written as right, 38 over 15, which is 2.53. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Do you have any question? No, teacher. So which method do you say that it's easier for you? One or two? Two. Second one. One? They are the same, I think. The second one. Okay, that's the, 